Do you want to say hello? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Farron, your fashion guru, and this is Pluto. Today we're going to be learning about snacks. I know, we did snacks last week, but this week we're learning so on snacks. Let's get right into it. When and where you would use so on snaps? One, you would use them for aesthetic reasons. Maybe you don't want a big heavy button on the front of your shirt. For example, I have this very lightweight shirt. The fabric is so light that you don't want a button. Another example would be if you want the facing to lie flat and you don't want a button or buttonhole. And sew on snaps are super easy to sew on. It's actually just like sewing on a button. Maybe even easier because you don't have to worry about the buttonhole. Let's get into it, all right? Let's fucking move this fucking train along. Here's the trick, okay? I don't like going around and around and around when I'm doing a button or a snap, for instance. So I double, even quadruple up my thread. So I take a long line, double it up, and then you take this loop and you put it through your the eye of the needle. So now we have four threads. Cut that, make a knot, trim, trim, trim. I highly recommend starting with the ball side of the snap. That is the ball side. The other side is the socket side, which is the female side. So take your thread and you start from the top side of your fabric. The reason we start from the top of the fabric is because we don't want the knot to show on the face of the fabric. And this knot is going to just hide underneath the snap. So that's perfect. So taking your snap and starting from the first hole here. You only really have to go around each hole twice. Because we've doubled up our thread, you don't have to go round and round and round so many times. So you go from the one first hole around twice, take up some of your fabric and go to the next hole going around twice as well. And then you tie off your thread by picking up some thread and some fabric putting your needle through the loop here. And then from there, don't cut your thread right at the knot. Take your needle and thread and just thread it through some of the fabric and then cut at the surface of the fabric. And there you have it. So the reason why we sewed on the, the, the ball side first is to easily find where the socket side of the snap is gonna go. Very simply, you take some chalk and you chalk the ball side and then you place the ball side where you want the socket side of your snap to go. Press that down and that's where your socket side is gonna go. Your chalk will transfer onto the side of this fabric. All you have to do to finish this up is to just sew on the socket side and then you're done. That's it for me today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications for next week because we're gonna be learning how to do couture snaps. Stay tuned. This is your fashion guru signing off.